Hello, everybody. Welcome in to core training. And we're going to be talking tonight about boards, how to get started, how to be successful very, very quickly. In, in this business, it is going faster than I've ever seen before. So at right now, at this point, I'm going to, op I'm going to share my screen. And I want to pull up a picture and show you guys something real quick because this is something that you are going to want to. Well, I thought I took a picture of it. It's okay. I can go to Canva and get it right from the source. Here we go. So I, I encourage you to take a screenshot of this. We're going to go over this. When I start going to parties, I'm going to have copies of this. So you can grab a copy, you can make copies, but I encourage you to take a screenshot, get some copies made, send to your BPs. BP stands for brand partner. We do have a lot of acronyms. So if you don't know, if you don't ask the question, you will never know. Understand, we, we don't think any question is dumb. We don't think any question is, is not um, relevant. So please ask your question. So I'm going to kind of go over this. I'm going to blow it up. I hope I gave everybody time to screenshot it. If you did not get a screenshot, send me a phone, um, send me a message. I will grab it and send it to you. So I'm going to blow it up. So immediately upon starting a brand partner, you want to immediately set up their, their subscribe and save. If they do not want to make money, all they have to have is one item every single month, any PV, PV stands for point value, <clears throat> any point value, as long as they have one item, they can save 30% on everything that all 100 plus products that we have. However, if they want to have a paycheck, qualify for commissions, then they have to have 100 PV point value or $150 before tax and shipping. So your net is $150. The next thing you want to do is you want to download the apps, boards, partner co share app, telegram. The next thing you want to do is connect to the slenderized board. And that's what we're going to be talking about tonight. Then we want to turn your Facebook page on professional mode and start scheduling, turn it on public post. So you want the public to see it. Now, if you are a private person, you can always go in and change things and make your personal posts private or whatever you want to do, friends only, however. But for this event, you definitely want it to be on public because there's other people that can see you and that you can, you can sell drops to and you can help them with their life as well. So follow the first six weeks of social media posts that is in boards, follow it to T. You definitely want to make sure that you follow that. After you pre-sell and you sell six, six to seven boxes by using the text scripts for drops that's on boards, you want to keep it simple. And then you want to schedule your own launch party your own drop talk, your own body balancing info party, your customer appreciation party. So you want to schedule those parties so that if you have customers, they may want to save 30%. And it's a great thing for you to help others learn how to do the same. You also, I encourage each and every one of you to look through boards often, just like we were looking last night, and there are some updated things that's happened recently within the last three or four days. Your first goal is to get 1,500 PV within your first four weeks. We're going to talk about that. If you have questions on how to do that, let me know. After you become Ultimate in Gold and you qualify for Ultimate in Gold, then there's another strategy to help other people as well. We're not going to go over that tonight. But if you are brand new, you want to get the goal right now. If you get 1,500 points, they're giving you an extra 10,000 
reward dollars, which reward dollars can pay for vacations um, that, that the company offers. It can pay for product. So reward dollars turn into cash, if you want to say it that way. Add your new brand partner to Partner Co Nation and to our team. Uh, Facebook Messenger group is called Partner Up with Partner Co Team Force. Add your brand partners to Telegram, the Telegram Boosting Group, and the Communication Channel. Show tips on Partner Co. Share out, and we have a new thing that just happened this weekend. Is share.partner.co. It is a URL. If you don't know what a URL is, that is where you go to the internet. That's on the internet where you search for something on the internet. You type in share.partner.co and the password is the lowercase share. You want to stay in communication with your sponsor on a daily basis. This is what I like to say, the squeaky oil, the squeaky wheel gets the oil. So if you want to build this business, stay in touch with your sponsor. <laughs> stay in touch with your leaders because that is how you build this business. Do not get overwhelmed because you cannot learn everything in one day. Stay plugged into weekly Zooms. If you can't do all of them, do what you can. Get <clears throat> in what you can into your schedule. We have the IPA call. We have why, why do you need these drops? Core training, which is this call right now. Ordinary people make an extraordinary income. Wednesday wisdom, and there are many, many more. So I do encourage you to take a screenshot of this and follow these steps. Once you've done this, hit the check mark, check it off the list. When you, this is a peat and repeat business. Once you learn it, you just wanna repeat it one time to somebody else. Help them repeat it one time to someone else and you will be uh, build a very successful team. So now we're gonna go into boards. I'm going to pull up boards. If you have the, the boards out, what I call, is the slenderized shining star. So it's the second one that's on my list. I know I have a lot of boards. I do pay for it. It is a free app if you only have one board. But as you build your business, understand that your app is part of your business. So it is completely tax deductible. And so if you pay for it, keep up with your subscription that you pay for use it on your taxes every single year. I'm going to open the Slenderize app, which is the Shining Star, which is the second one on my list. Now, at this time, I'm going to turn the call over to Lisa and she's going to get started with you guys and she's gonna tell me what to touch. Oh, what hey, did I do? I don't know, I keep touching it, but it goes away. Well, that's me touching it. I'll oh, okay. Go ahead. <laughs> Hang on. Tell me what you want to touch. Do what? You have okay. to tell me what to touch. Okay. So well, we'll start out with the uh, text script for drops. Did you want to start out with a start here? Let's get starting here. We, we can. Okay, let's start there. Okay. So we were talking about this last night, and we're so sorry about um, all the confusion last night. For some reason, my um, Zoom was letting people in that had got the text message, but not the messenger message. So hopefully we got that fixed. So every time that you have a partner join and they are serious about promoting the um, drops or promoting through the company, you want to sell them the partner up, sell them. You want to share with them the partner.co better together start here. And you can slide it, Tanya. So when you share it, you're going to tell them that they're just going to slide down till they get to the Apple or uh, the iPhone or the Android. And they're going to click on that and it's going to take them into boards. And there will be some questions for them to answer if they don't, if they're not sure the answers to them they can get with their upline to um, so, answer so the let questions. Me, let me kind of go through the questions so they're kind of in your brain. So one question is, um, if you have Apple or Android, and so you would click the Android button, and then it's going to ask you if, um, 
if you um, are, are a part of one of these different companies, if it's network marketing, direct sales, or whatever, and you can pick direct marketing or network marketing or whichever button you want, then it's going to ask you, like if you're a part of a team and the answer is no, it's going to ask you if you are with different companies and you have to say other and type in the word partner code. And then you want to allow full access on your phone for the keyboard. Okay, Lisa, go ahead. I'm sorry. And then okay, you want to come okay. So after you get your boards downloaded, you're going to go back to your text message or messenger, whichever one that it was sent through. And you're just going to tap on upload the team board. If you do not do that, you will not get our team board with these boards that we're looking at right now on your boards. And also there's some, there's Telegram. If anyone wants to get into Telegram, it has a lot of information on Zooms and um, some IPA things. Um, some people do not like that. I mean, if you do not like that, you do not have to do that because we do have most everything shared on our partner up messenger page. So you can slide on up, Tanya. Here's the circle of health face Facebook page. There'll be several different pages here that they can join. There are some that's not on here and you can personally go into Facebook and invite them to those, but let them know what you're doing because they may see it and not know what it is, but let them know that you are going to invite them. This is the new things that Tanya and I discovered last night that, um, that looks pretty interesting here. I haven't really got to look at this, but just be sure that you send this to any of your partners that are just joining and they are wanting to promote and then after you get them in that, you can train them or you can share these videos that we're doing to train them with or one of us can train them, just whatever we need to do. We're here to help. So text script for drops. This is what we're going to use when we are in Facebook or Messenger and someone asks a question about your photo that you have shared. So um, number one, this one you're always going to send first. It does not matter what they ask. If they ask how much the drops are, you do not send number two first how much they are because they may not ask another question. So you definitely want to send number one because you want them to know what the drops do, how you take them, and you know that they suppress your appetite and balance hormones. They support your thyroid level, digestion, and sugar levels, and, you know, it goes on and on, and it tells you how much they can expect to lose per day. So you definitely want them to see this first before you give them how much they are. Second, you can send the one on how much the drops are, and it lets them know that you buy them in bulk so they can get them, so you can get them to people for 150 for a month's supply. They are 200 with tax and shipping if you get them directly from the company. So I save you 50 on the purchase and I accept Venmo for payment. Now, when you get ready to send this, you can change Venmo. If you do not have Venmo, you can put PayPal, Cash App, whatever you have, or under just let me know if you want me to reserve a box for you. They go fast. Then you can put, I've actually put right here, I also have PayPal or whatever app that you may have. So <clears throat> after we send that, when we're in Facebook, when we get there, we'll teach you more about that. Um, when they say they want them, you can go into um, ready to buy, ask for their address request. Sorry, y'all. Is it not showing up? Yeah, there it goes. I, I had a call that was trying to come through. Um. Please send me your address and cell phone number and I'll send over my Venmo or PayPal or whatever you have you can put there. Okay. And, you know, you're going to have a lot of people ask, can I take this with my medications? I have a lot of medications that I take. And then this script just tells you that they pair with, that um, we um, work with many doctors 
and um, they created the formulas. So this just lets them know that whatever medication they take, they can take with the drops. And then they're welcome to, you're welcome to send them the ingredients in it for them to take to their doctor. Some people want to do that before they take them. They, um, the supplements are FDA approved as the Food and Drug Administration supplements no, are out. They're not, not FDA approved. approved. Yes. Okay. But Sorry. no supplements are. Record, record was over that. <laughs> yes, it's um, okay. No supplements are FDA approved. No kind it, because it is considered like a um. It's, it's supplements. And so anything outside of Big Pharma, they will not approve. But we do have an FDA-approved facility. So you can send this as well. So there's just a lot of scripts here. Uh, we do have Square, if that's something you want to do. We have, um, this is like at a touch of a fingertip. All you have to do is go here and touch these and send them right from your text message or your messenger. We have follow-up scripts, um, messages to check on people. You know, whatever you need is right here, ghosting scripts. You just need to go through them and read them and see what all's there. And um, so that you'll know when someone asks a question that most everything is right here. And you don't have to sit there and make up a text message. So Lisa likes to do this after you send, what do they cost? Some people kind of back off because they don't realize. And here's the thing, guys, if you use the set of drops tw uh, three times a day, like it is re requested, like it's uh, kind of told, recommended then you're going to be using each bottle 84 times in a month and so that winds up being less than five dollars a day if they go to the pick and pack store every day and buy a coke and a bag of chips they are spending more than five dollars a day so let them know that this is and and they will not be craving those kind of things so in the end it's going to save them money not have them spend more money if you look at it that way. And so um, a lot of times Lisa likes to take it. And if they don't respond right in a, in a timely manner after she sends this, you want to go ahead and go, Lisa? Yes, I can. I sure can. So usually I'll go to product resources and I will send them the ingredients because, I mean, I love this. It has the pictures with... Um, the script on, you know, what's exactly in the drops. So I think it's, it's just a great, a great explanation of, um, of each ingredient that's in there, and it helps them to better understand what the drops do. And then I like to go to the videos. And, you know, I don't ask them, can I send this to you? But I'm not rude or, push or pushy with it. I just say, hey, I'm going to send you a couple videos and the explanation explanation of what is in the drop so that you can better understand what we have here because this is an excellent product. You know, I just kind of, you just put it there, however, in your words. So at first I would send Dr. Strand's video and I had a couple people say that that was really long. So I started sending Dr. Crystal's first and then Dr. Strand's because Dr. Crystal's is a little shorter and sweeter. So I thought, well, if they watch it and it's a little shorter and then they want to dig deeper into it, then they can go on to Dr. Strands because I don't want them to get into it and think it's too much to watch and then not get to hers either. So I, I'll send Dr. Crystal's and then Dr. Strands. Now you can do it whichever way you want to. But that's something I like to do. And a lot of times when I don't get a response back from somebody and I do do that, it helps them to understand what this product does, and it's not just for weight loss. So then they're more apt to buy the product after they see what it really does for you. 
Okay. So guys, I, I want to let you know a couple of other things. Number one, get on the app, look around. It is locked down. You're not going to mess anything up. So you can just get in there, touch and look. If you have any questions, holler at us. We're more than happy to help you. But I want to talk about the pink one that's at the bottom. So this is the promotion and we only have a few days left. And so go in here, read all of this, how to power up, how to get to the next level, what to do to, uh, to help yourself get to ultimate gold and earn the 10,000 points that's offered this month. So if you have not reached ultimate and gold, there, here is the, the roadmap on how to make it happen. I'm not going to read it all, but I will say to make ultimate and gold, all you need this month is, uh, if you started last month at this month, is like 900 points. But you will not get the $10,000 reward points. So we, our goal, again, is to get you to 1,500 points within your first four weeks. Let's make that happen. Natanya, so that, the, yes. the person that actually gets, the, gets to their 1,500 PV, they get 25,000. That's, that's right. I'm sorry. And then, and then their sponsor gets 10,000. And that's yes. huge because normally you get 3000 So that is like a huge deal there. And yes. so it's great if you can only make it to the 900 to um, be an ultimate goal. But if you can push it all the way to 1500 that is wonderful to get those LCs. And, and I will say this. If you are posting twice a day at 9 and 3, now you ask, why does it have to be 9 and 3? It don't have to be. It can be two o'clock in the morning and and five o'clock in the morning. However, they've done a study and the most amount of people that see on Facebook, the most traffic is at nine o'clock in the morning and three in the afternoon. So do you want it on the lull times or do you want it when there's the most traffic? So that is completely up to you. The important thing is that you post just like the drops. The drops are not going to do you any good if they're in the bottle. So put them inside your bottle, inside your body. But the posts are not going to do you any good if you don't put them out there. So put them out there. But the most, the best times to have the most success is nine in the morning and three o'clock in the afternoon. Now I want to talk about the calls, groups, flyers, and resources. And I want to touch the weekly Zoom events. And I want to say that if you can't make but one call, this is the one that I, I advise. The 915 every morning, every weekday morning is an amazing call. It's always fresh. They were talking this week about the new sugar stop. So if you missed it, I'm sure it was not recorded, but sometimes they record some of the things. The things. Here's the deal on this call right here. It is not recorded. For a very good reason. We tell real things. In this business, we cannot say we heal, treat, cure, or diagnose anything. However, on this call, people are telling their real stories. In this business, we cannot say how much money we make. We cannot make financial claims. We cannot make health claims. But because this is not recorded, sometimes on this call, there are things that happen that are just simply amazing. So I advise you to be a part of this call every every morning um, at, at 9.15 Central Standard Time. Also, there's other calls. This is in your boards, so you can find it. Again, it's called Flyers Group, Calls Groups, Flyers and Resources. We're gonna talk about uh, the flyers and recognition. Well, not flyers and recognition. We're going to talk about the subscribing, the subscription calendar. Lisa, would you like to do that? Sure, I can. So it's sometimes it can get a little bit confused, confused, confused when to order and when your subscription is. So let's say on January the twentieth, Frank signed up to be a member. But he did not order anything until and get a subscription until the 27th. Well, his color week is going to be when he orders and gets his subscription. Not when he becomes a brand partner. So it's on the color week that he actually does a subscription. And so here's the thing. 
if you have a subscribe and save that is in the purple week and you're supposed to be in the red week, I know it looks pink, but it's really red. They call it red. And if it's in the red week and your subscribe and save is set up on the 6th, you are not going to be qual commission qualified. Even if you have 100 PV point value or $150 before tax and shipping. However, you can call the company and say, hey, is my subscription on the correct date? And if you don't want to call the company, call me. I will call the company. I will do what I need to do to make sure that you're on the right color week. Or call Lisa or call your, your leader. Your sponsor will help you if you don't want to call yourself. But to be commission qualified, it has to be 100 PV or more plus, or $150 before tax and shipping and on the correct color week. So you can be purple, green, blue, or red. And they will tell you and you will have a dot as to what your color week is on your on your page. So and you're um, always that color. Once you're that color, that's your color. And and you know, a lot of people are like, well, I want it on the 15th of the month. Well, it rotates. It's a rotating calendar. So it happens every 28 days. So you see, I'm just gonna take this. So in January, the um, let's take February. Nope, let's take, oh geez, let's find one that's all right, let's take let's take April. April, the green week starts on the 6th, which is the first of the month. But if you scroll down to October, you see that it's at the end of the month. So it rotates around every 28 days. So you, there's not a specific day. It is a rotating calendar of every 28 days. And now, we want to get paid. So we want to make sure that we're in the right color week, even if it means calling the company to make sure, because we don't want to miss that on our weekly paycheck. Right. And so let's talk about logistics and tutorials. So um, shipping, if you go to the post office, one box of drops is going to cost you between about $15 to ship, whether you do USPS or UPS. But we have a website. It's called pirateship.com. You can go to pirateship.com. That is the URL, and here's all the information. I have shipped all over the country, and I've not paid over $7 and I think 50 cents or something like that. And all I do is slap a label on it, tape it down, and it ships just fine. Some people wrap it in a bag. Some people put it in a bubble envelope. Me, I just slap a label on it, tape it down, and send it off. So that is completely up to you. The dimensions are right here if you do it that way. And, and another thing, if you're traveling, uh, when I flew to Denver a few times, I have wrapped my drops in my suitcase in some clothes so that, you know, they didn't get squashed or squished. And I took them not knowing if I had to ship or somebody was going to buy some. But it doesn't matter where you are. While I was up there, I think I sent some to South Louisiana. I'd sit, I sent a box to Arkansas. So no matter where you are, you can create one of these labels. And my daughter-in-law had a print a printer, so all I had to do was print my label up and take it and mail it. So that's you know an option that you can always take your drops with you and mail it, mail them from anywhere you are. Okay, so here is Square, and Square is a site that if they pay you for the drops, you can they can divide it up into four payments. However, if you put the price that is right here, $150, you're not going to make but a, and use Square, you are not going to make but $140 on it because Square is going to take their cut. So my advice is change the price and that way it will be divided differently. But you also have to change the wording whenever you send that uh, text script for drops. However, I will say this, if you don't dot every I and cross every T in the square out, it does not go through right. Square is kind of challenging. So I'm telling you that in advance. So how do I take payments? Guys, I take cash if there's someone close. I take Venmo, PayPal, cash out. I take a check if I know the people. So how you get paid for drops 
That is completely up to you. You can also use Zeal. I have not applied for Zeal yet, which is not hard to apply, but I have not got Zeal yet, but there's several different ways that you can get paid. It is completely up to you on how you want to get paid. I'm just going to tell you, Square is a little bit challenging. Now, we're about to show you how to post with an Android and how to post with an iPhone. Right here in the logistics and tutorials, you see that it says Android instructions, iPhone instructions. So if what we say is completely confusing, there's a flow chart right there that you can do yourself. So I'm gonna hit the back button. I'm gonna hit the back button. I'm going to go, so I'm gonna show you first thing with Android on how to post. And then Lisa, I'm gonna let Lisa share her screen and she's gonna show you how to do with iPhone. So this is Android users. So you go to social media, you got to remember it is six weeks right here. So there's no thinking. All you have to do is post. You got to touch week one. I'm not going to touch week one. I'm going to touch week five because I have not. Oh, Lord, I don't even know where I am. <laughs> I've got a lot of them done. So it's, give it a second. So you have to have the picture along with the words. If this is your first time, I advise you to go to week one. Go week one, week two, week three, week four, week five, week six. You have six weeks to do it. There's a lot of people that repeat six weeks again and repeat six weeks again. But in the six weeks, if you don't want to be a repeat, then you're going to notice, you're going to see other people who are posting and you're going to say, hey, I want that. Hey, I want this. My advice is stick with this to the T until after you're finished with your six weeks. And then you can make some changes. So Android users, this is the way I do it. I touch the words at the bottom. So you always want to touch the, have the picture and the words. So Android users touch the words. Hold my finger down, select all, and hit copy. I hit the back button. I touch the picture. Then you see the, the, the connector of dots at the top? It looks kind of like a triangle. I touched that. It's going to pull up Facebook. Some people have several different Facebooks. So, but when you're, what you're looking for is you're looking for news feed. So if you have a Facebook that says news feed, a Facebook that says set as profile picture, a Facebook that says groups, or a Facebook that says your story, you want to pick the one that says news feed. So I'm going to touch news feed. And then it jumps to my, my Facebook page. I'm going to hold my finger down to where it says, say something about this photo. And I'm going to hit paste. Then, because mine is on professional mode, we did not go over that, but I will show you all that in a second before I let Lisa take over. Because mine set is on professional mode, it says next. It does not say post. If it says post, it's going to post immediately. If it says next, then you can choose. So I hit next. You see that I have mine on. The public can see it. And then I'm, I'm not going to post it now. I'm going to post it later. So I'm going to touch the arrow on the right. I'm going to schedule it for later. I'm going to touch that dot. And then it's going to pull this up. I think I'm on Sunday. I'm going to do this for Monday because I don't think I have Monday done either. So I'm going to touch Monday. Okay. I'm going to touch 9, 0, 0, and a.m. So it says that I'm going to do it at 9 o'clock a.m. I hit the OK button, and it tells me right there. It reminds me that I'm going to post it later, Monday, 9.30 <clears> at 9, 9 a.m. I'm going to hit the back button, and then it's going to tell me what I'm going to post. So I'm going to hit the post now. When I hit the post, you're going to see words come up at the bottom that my post was scheduled. Your photos will be uploaded. Check the progress and notifications. So there is how you post. Now, Androids, when someone messages you and say, or in your, in your Facebook page, so let's just say, I'm going to go to my Facebook page, and I'm going to scroll down to this one right here. Let's see. All right, I've had two comments. So Cheryl, is, Sam, I know you're on here, so I'm going to reply to Sam, and I'm going to say, check your messenger. Check your messages. 
And then I'm going to send that to her. Now, there's a couple ways you can get there, but I'm going to show you how to get there from here. Where her name is in blue, if I touch her name, it goes to her page. I touch message. Now I can message her. So when I touch message at the bottom, on Androids, we have the, if you look at the very <clears> bottom, <throat> you see keyboard. So you touch keyboard. I'm going to pick boards because I gave boards full access so I can do this. I touch boards. Then I'm going to touch the shining star. Remember, if you have more than one, text script for drops. I'm going to touch message one. And then I'm going to hit the send. And when I hit the send, it goes. Now, I didn't kind of go over that. So let me say this again. When you get here, now that it's messages, as soon as you touch it, it's going to pop into the message. So I'm going to pretend that Sam said, well, how much do they cost? So now I'm going to touch the second message, touch that. And you see how it popped up there? And then I'm going to hit send. Now we're going to pretend that Sam, you know, she got busy. She forgot to message me back. But I thought that there was a problem. So what do I do? Right here is a little bitty arrow. You see the lightning bolt? There's a little bitty arrow, so you can hit the back button. And I'm going to go to the product resources, like Lisa said. I'm going to touch product resources. I'm going to touch the slenderized bottle. When I do, it's going to pop up there. Do you see that? Now, at the bottom, you have the return. So I'm going to hit return, return, return. I'm going to hit the back button. And then I'm going to go into the product videos, just like Lisa said. And I'm going to send Dr. Crystal first, which is this, the one with the, the slenderized bottles. And it popped up there. Return, return. And Dr. Strand. Return, return. And then I'm going to touch my ABC. And I'm going to say, hey, I wanted to give you a little more because I know just how great these jobs are. Enjoy. And then I'm going to hit send. When I hit send, all of the message went. So they have the ingredients. They have Dr. Crystal. They have the video of Dr. Strand. All they have to do is touch it and it will start playing. And they have my message. And I ask them if they have any questions. So that is how you send from boards. Now I'm going to unshare. And I'm going to let mm -hmm. come in. And she is going to share hers and show you guys how to use an app, an iPhone. Let me get my little glasses on here where I can see. Okay, it takes it a minute. All right. I'm going to go into Facebook. So real quick, let's just kind of recap that. And I did forget to show them how to turn on professional mode. So Android, you go into boards first. Apples, you go into Facebook first. Yes, the iPhone is, to me, very simple compared to the Android. But if you have an Android, I guess you're used to having to go through all those steps. So we're in Facebook, and you're going to see up the top what's on your mind. We're going to click what's on your mind. Well, I hit my face. What's on your mind? And remember, we're going to do what's on your mind twice. What's on your mind on your front page and what's on your mind when you get to create a post. And when you click that, your world is going to come up at the bottom left and you're going to click your world. Sometimes I have to click mine several times. My phone wants to act kind of crazy. I don't know if any of y'all does that. And I'm kind of like Tanya. I have a bunch of different things here. But we're going to go to the star, and we're going to go to social media post. And I'm going to go into week four, 
and I'm going to show you. With the iPhone, you always touch your script first, and we're going to do the very first one here. We're going to touch the script. It's going to automatically pop up up here. Then we're going to touch the, the uh, photo, and you can see where the cursor is at the end of the exclamation mark. You can just touch right beside it, paste. Now, if you look here, you it looks like I did not paste anything, but if you slide your script up, you will see where it is pasted there. Sometimes you can see it and sometimes you can't. So that's just so you can always check to make sure it's there before you just keep clicking paste. So then you can go up here, you can click next. Now, if you want to schedule, you have scheduling options. You're gonna click scheduling options and you can schedule now or you can schedule for later and we're gonna punch for later. So I'm gonna, Put on September the 27th in the morning at 9 a.m. And I'm going to click Save. And then it tells me right here, tomorrow, September 27th at 9 a.m., this post is scheduled to um, publish. So I'm going to go back on the back arrow in the top left. And I'm going to hit post. Now, don't let this scare you because when you hit post, it looks like it's posting immediately on your page. But it's not. Your post is scheduled. It'll come up. And if you want to hit manage to go back and do the next day, I mean, you can go weeks at a time to post. So, okay, we're going to go back to what's on your mind. What's on your mind. Remember with the iPhone, you always click it twice. And I'm going to scroll down. I may have to go to another day. Nope, here it is. So if you look at um, day 27, you can look right here and see that there's some text script. And it looks like text script, but that's actually a photo of a text. But we're still, with the iPhone, always text your script first. And you've got to... Um, do the same pasting with this, even though it looks like a script. It is a picture of a script, and you're going to touch where the cursor is, touch that, paste it on. And if you slide up, there it is. So that is actually a photo. All right, Lisa, I want to do something. So I did not say this. If you don't have next, or if you missed it and you did not post, you don't have to schedule it. When you hit the next button, touch next. Uh -huh. You don't have to schedule it for later. You can, and she don't want to do it right now, but if you touch the post button, it will post immediately. So you can go ahead, even if it says next, if you need to post now, you can post it immediately. Some people, they, they don't want to schedule it. They want to do it at nine and three. That's fine. You are, it's not a must. It's not a rule that you have to do that. Okay, thank you. I just wanted to input okay. that. And a lot of times I don't schedule mine out. If I know I'm going to be extremely busy and I have a few minutes to do that, I do sit down and schedule a few days out because I've already went through all the six weeks probably several, several times. So... And right now I am going in there and grabbing some stuff if I don't have time. But if I have time, I make my own up because I've already went through the six weeks several times. So I'll we can grab and borrow from other people. We're supposed to feel free when we post something on there that anyone can grab and borrow what you have from any of us. I mean, no one is yeah. going to get mad or they shouldn't get mad if you borrow their post. Because That's we right. all have different friends and different people see it. And, you know, sometimes there's only maybe 25 people that may see your post. That's why we need to build our algorithm up. So I'm going to go back to this. And let's just say that, you know, I posted this and I have, um, I'm going to disregard. I, I can show you something else too. Let, let me, I'm sorry, I'm going to go back to this. So let's just take this first script here and put it up here and, um, if for some reason I did need to erase it or add something, I can use on the bottom right, the X, the one little X there. I can go back with it. 
Now, if I want to erase every bit of it, then I'm going to click on the, the bottom right. There's one X and two X's. If you want to erase it all, click the two X's. And you may have to move the cursor several times, and then it's gone. So and to get back to, uh, touch it again, Lisa, to get back to it, just touch the ABC and yes. you'll get back to your keyboard. So you're not like forever stuck in boards. Yes. And then sometimes you may have to click it several times because I've had people say, well, my emojis disappeared. Well, just hit your ABC, hit your world, and there your emojis are back. Because that's yes. been a a big concern from a few people. So um we're gonna go into Messenger. We're gonna we're gonna make believe that someone just you just post your here's Rosalind. Rosalind just posted this and someone said, um, tell me about these drops. And you're gonna heart. You don't want to like it. You want to always heart when they ask you a question because you get more um your algorithm builds up faster and always answer them. Don't just heart it and then go into messenger. Sorry, y'all. I didn't mean for that, for that guy to be up there on my thing. Um, so you want to heart it and then you want to um, respond to them. Say, hey, how are you doing? I will PM you or DM, DM you, just whichever one that you like or um. You're going to love these drops. I will message you right now, just whatever in your words that you want to tell them. So we're going to go into um, our chats right here. And let me find somebody that um, I can send a message to. Courtney, don't care. Okay. Courtney, so I'll send one to Courtney. So Courtney just asked me, uh, how much are these drops? So I hearted her response and I said something back to her in Facebook but I did not tell her about the drops in Facebook and I did not put the script there so I'm going to go over here and um I'm going to go back to the social media week one well shoot no let me get back text script for drops so she just asked about the drops. And even if she said, how much are they? I'm not going to send her how much they are. I'm just going to say right here. And as Tanya says, she doesn't like to say hello. She likes to say, um, hey, chick or whatever. I can't think what you like to say, uh, Tanya. But anyway. I say all things. Yeah, but you can change the hello if that doesn't sound like you. Or if something in here doesn't sound like you, you can change it up. So and to change it, you touch the ABC at the bottom. And yep. then you can scroll to where you want to change. Now, I would not change anything else except for the the hello. I wouldn't leave everything else because, guys, really, we have scientifically proven that this works. So I advise you. I, I, I um. So I'm just going to put "Hey, lady" there, and you can see how yes. easy that was to change it. You don't have to change it. Hello is fine, but if it's not you, then change it. That's how simple it is. And then they just said, "How much are the drops?" Then I'm going to go back up here, and I'm going to click "How much are the drops?" So just a touch of a finger, everything's there, and you're not having to make it up. This works the same way in message, text message, or messenger. Oh, you yes. have to touch your world and this comes up. Okay, Lisa, um, is that it? So let me, I'm going to yes. claim it again. So if you'll get out, I wanted to go show them something oh, okay. else. Okay, I'm sorry. That's okay. Hang on just a moment. Okay, so if you... Let's see, let me get back to share my screen. I guess I could let you do this. I just, That's so okay. if you are in your own page, so you want to go to your page. So a lot of people say, well, how do I get there? So when you open your Facebook and it looks like this and it's what's on your mind, all the things, touch your little bitty round picture at the far left and that'll take you to your page. This is the things that you post and that are people tag you in or whatever, your, your messages. 
So if you touch the three dots at the side, then you're going to see where it says, right here you see mine, it says turn off professional mode. Well, right there is where you will turn on professional mode. And if you need what your link is, there is your link right there if you want to invite somebody to be on your Facebook page. So there is that. I don't know why I didn't just tell you to do yours. So uh, that is how we do the training on boards. And now I'm going to, is there anything else, Lisa, that we need to talk about before I get off? Um, I don't think so. Okay, so I'm going to stop the recording. Oh, we, no. We the recording did not record. Oh, no. Shoot. That was a good one. Oh, yeah, Dad. Look, it says recording. Okay, good. Okay. Let me stop it. Oh, praise the Lord.